Welcome to another video. Today we're upgrading the heat treat area, something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time. Um, recently we got the new even heat uh, temper oven right there. Our new toaster oven has arrived. We're still rocking the uh, modified toaster oven, but this guy should be really, really nice. We got the new controller for the old oven here, which we use every day. Barry uses every day. So one of the inefficiencies that we have right now is our quenching setup. In the past, we used to use these big aluminum plates. You'd pull the blade out, out of the hot, glowing red hot, drop it onto here, put your thing down, grab the next one, put it on top, quench it like that. It worked okay, but it was slow, it was clumsy, there was too much going on, and these would get hot over time. So the more blades you do, the hotter it gets. And then we've really found out that having flat quench plates, like actually faced flat, makes a huge difference in the flatness of the blade. So now we're doing this, blade comes out, drops onto here, somebody else grabs this, puts it on top of the blade, lowers it down. You don't need a lot of pressure, but it seems to work really, really well. And then we have an air blast right here, except these plates also get hot. So, check this out. I've been wanting to make this for a long time. Water cooled quench plates, triple sandwich. The middle one has cooling channels and then a replaceable, faceable uh, contact plate. So as we need to, we can face them down or even replace it. And then I made a really cool top mount adapter that will bolt onto the Arbor Press. So it should go on just like that, like a glove. So right now we're going to install this. So I'm using this gasket, seal gasket sealer right now to seal the surface basically. Doing an okay job, not my best work, but uh, it'll squish and, and blend once you get the pressure on. Uh, I don't need to go on the outside of the hole really, I just need to go on the inside. And I'm gonna do these, these surfaces too, just so that water doesn't go in between and to create an even gasket layer across the whole thing. So I'm just gonna keep going, go all the way around. And then this guy goes on here Da, da, da. Bolt it down. It says to um, tor torque it finger tight, set for an hour, and then crank it to full tightness. So I've already done that to this one. You can see the gaskets in there, a little orange layer. Very cool. And then the way these are going to work, so that'll go on here, and then on the bottom will be our quench surface, which will be these plates right so these will go on the bottom this is where the blade will get hit every time um, so these are wear items and we'll have to face them and surface them periodically um, to keep them nice and flat and shiny did get a little bit of chatter there which I'm not happy about but it's all good they're flat enough flatness of the quench plate has become very important to us um, we really notice it so I'm going to keep doing this before it cures, and then we'll go forward. All right. The bolt pattern is one way. Notice in the top center there's one, and in the bottom there's two. So it really only fits on one direction. Line up the holes. Jiggle it around a little bit. with a little bit of soldering and an old, old cell phone charger, 12 volts. We have a temperature gauge. It's so hot because I was just rubbing this thing in my hands. It does work. Sweet. So the temperature gauge is gonna measure the water temperature in the bucket and uh, we'll get to that in a second. I had another one 
I had another one, a high temperature one, that I was gonna mount right here. But I'm dumb. It's a metric M6 and I tapped these quarter 20. Ah! So I actually broke this thing. So to mount this lower plate, this sandwich, onto the Arbor Press, I had to kind of figure out the easiest way to do it. So I figured a three pin scenario would be perfect. That pin goes into that hole. These two pins just kind of go right here. It seems to work good. It's got a bit of wiggle, but she's good. I wish it was a little bit tighter, but it really doesn't matter. Shiny. Eric stole my phone to make some US calls, so I'm on the GoPro right now, handheld. Um, I've got a bit of a dilemma. The way we had it set up before, with these side screws, um, I tightened them, which made a little mark, and then I center punched it and I drilled it, but the drill walked a little bit. So the plate was not actually sitting very flat. It was a little bit up. We put a blade under there and we could tell it wasn't sitting super flat on the blade. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to redo this without having to redo too much. I might just 90 degree that thing and go into the front, but what you can't have is the thing ever falling down. That's why I made the dimples so that it just doesn't fall, but maybe it's got to like free float and um, be able to suck it up. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, try again. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure something out. Sorry about the noise, guys. We got the tumbler going right now. But check this out. So it turns out these plates are not flat at all. I started flat sanding it here. You can see where it's going in the corners. It's much thinner in the center. Yeah, check that out. So I'm going to have to redo these. I'm going to have to flatten them a different way, a better way. Um, that's going to get me more, better flatness because this is bad. So what happened is you can see the little scar mark right there where I put it in the orange vise for the second off and I squished it and I must have tightened it too much so it bowed something I wasn't thinking about and I didn't uh, I didn't check or confirm flatness while I was making them I check them now and the the thickness varies like five to eight thou between different spots and that's no bueno and they're kind of thin too so when I was making these thicker ones they don't bow because they're just that much thicker We got them nice and flat. Yeah, they ring together. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like it. So yesterday we faced down the plates with a much better method using the uh, double tape super glue method, the Saunders way. And now they are super duper flat and I cannot, I shine my light in there, I can't see light through between the gaps, which is awesome. So they're back together, they're good to go. So if I turn it on, turn the power switch on, the aquarium pump turns on, and my little temperature gauge right there turns on, which is in the bucket of water over here. So basically the aquarium pump is pumping water into the bottom plate and the top plate, and then out on this side. 
Now get the tank. Check this out. So yeah, they look done. They are uh, complete, done. I can't wait. We'll try them out probably tomorrow. And uh, it should keep the plates nice and cool. And then we've got the temperature gauge to be able to see the result over a bunch of blades, see if the tank of water actually gets hotter. And then we can feel, feel if they get hot or cold over time too. So super duper excited. Um, project complete. Very happy with it. Yeah, thanks for watching.